Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Square to your Wix website in 2023. Integrating Square, a popular payment processing system with your Wix website will enable you to accept secure payments online and streamline your e-commerce operations. So let's dive into the process of setting up uh, this integration and start accepting payments seamlessly. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open this browser make sure to start by signing up for a square account if you don't have already a square account of course you will have to go to the square website as an example Go here to the URL section, type square, uh, hit the enter button, and go to this first link. And of course, make sure to go to the Square website and sign up for a free account. And Square offers some various payment processing solutions for businesses of all sizes. Let's just continue with that. And as you can see, if you click on get started, you'll be taken here to sign up into your account. If you have an account, you can simply go and click on sign in into your account and you will be good to go after you sign in into your account. So an example here, let me just go and sign in into my account. As an example, click on sign in here. And here we are, we'll be logged in into your account. After that, of course, we'll have to go and log into our Wix account. So go to the new tab, uh, type wix.com, hit the enter button. And again here, you'll have to go and log in into your account if you have an account. If you don't have an account, simply just go and click on Get Started to create an account for yourself. If you don't know much about Wix website, you can always scroll down with more information about it if you're uh, interested. And here you can simply go and click at Login at the top right corner. Once you click on it, as you can see, you will be taken here to log in into your account. So for me, I'm just going to log in with my account. Of course, you can even log in with Google, Facebook, Apple, which will uh, help you or prevent you from doing all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. So for me, I'm just going to log in with this account here. And the meanwhile, as you can see in the Square dashboard, we have here, this, this is going to be the dashboard. So now that means that I have my account. Let me just go back now to Wix. So now I'm not going to add the phone number. So click on that now. And of course, now we'll have to go and access the Wix app markets once we connect it into our Wix account. So in the Wix dashboard, you'll have to find the app sections and click on the markets. Or you can simply go to explore here at the top uh, bar here, go to click on explore, then click on app markets. This will open a new tab for you with the app markets of Wix as you can see, Wix app market. So from here, of course, we will have to search for Square app. So go to search, type Square. Hit the enter button and of course using the search bar when you find it of course you'll have to click on it and access the details and functionalities so at the moment so here normally we should find like some options but just click on see more apps here uh, i don't know why nothing is appearing here maybe they have just a problem so i don't know let me just go and use this search here at the top right corner and see if it's working. Maybe they have a problem at the moment, but anyway, you'll simply have to search for Square. And uh, at the moment, let me just go and get into uh, websites here. And of course, once you search for Square, uh, you'll have to, when you find this, click on it to access the details and functionalities. After that, read all the features provided there. You may find more than apps provided by many developers. So make sure to install the Square app. Click on Add to Site button to install the Square app on your Wix website. And this action will add Square as a payment option for your customers during the checkout process. After that, you'll be able to connect CL like a Square to Wix. After installing this Square app, uh, you will have to follow the on-screen prompt to connect your Square account to your Wix website. And you will need to authorize this integration, this integration and grant perm, uh, permissions for Wix to access your Square account. As an example here, I'm just going to uh, this left panel, go and click on Add Apps. And here, let's see. So, of course, once Square is connected, you will have to configure your payment settings in the Wix dashboard. You can choose your preferred currency, set up a tax and shipment, shipping option, and customize your payment configuration page. So here on search app, as we said, we'll search for Square. 
and hit the insert button. And as you can see, we find this right here, a square post for restaurant or something like that. So integrate your square accounts for ordering as an example, simple as that. So square post for restaurant requires to install Wix restaurant orders. So don't care about this restaurant, it's just like for payments. So simply go and install like this Wix Austrian order, then simply add this to your site. Once it's added, as you can see, you will be able to process payments with Square with no problem. You'll be able even to scroll down, read the reviews that uh, you found here. Of course, if you didn't like this one, you can go as an example and search for another one as an example. So if you didn't find any, as you can see, so that means it's the only one. Oh, then, of course, you will have to simply use that. If you click on apps, you will have to simply add it to your website. And of course, make sure to configure the payment settings depending on whatever suits you. So configure your payment settings, as we said. After that, uh, make sure to test the integration. So before going live, it's essential to test the Square integration uh, on your Wix website. You can uh, create a test order and complete the payment process using a test credit card or your credit card because the money will eventually come back to you to ensure like everything works smoothly. After that, after you test everything, make sure to simply go and publish your website. So after testing and configuring your settings, you're ready to go live. Publish your Wix website and to make sure like Square Payments option available to your customers. After that, of course, make sure to monitor and manage transactions. So once your Square integration is live, you can easily monitor and manage your transaction through your Square account dashboard from here. And make sure to stay informed about sales, view payments, details, and access valuable insights. As you can see from here, you'll be able to see the orders, transactions, customers, and on the dashboard, basically, you'll be able to see everything. So payment types, top items by sales, and you'll be able to find more about Scrim here. And the kind of the summary of the last 13 days, you'll find it here, and you'll be good to go. So if you reach this point of this video, Congratulations, you have successfully connected your Square uh, to your Wix website in 2023, as you can see. So by integrating Square, you can offer your customers seamless and secure payments experience. Make sure to keep an eye on your transactions and stay on top of your e-commerce game. So happy selling on your Wix website with Square. And if you have any issues or questions you can always leave them down below in the comment section i'll try to come back to you as soon as possible or if it's out of my hand you can always go and ask or even contact the support of wix or even square so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one as i said if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and i will see you in the next video